Uh, hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce you a plugins feature for Synfig Studio. Uh, this feature allows you to run a simple Python scripts right from Synfig menu. Uh, as you can see, we have a new submenu item which is called plugins and uh, we have or uh, in my case we have already two sample scripts uh, first one is unhide all layers plugin uh, which uh, makes all layers in your composition visible for example if you have some some uh, layers hidden Mm, let's make more of them like that uh, then you can easily show everything by invoking this plugin on hide all layers uh, a little a quick warning message yes and uh, we have all layers visible now. This is very quick and this is a very simple plugin. Uh, second plugin is a simple skeleton. Uh, it uh, adds a stickman template to current composition. Here it is, we have a skeleton with all configuration, all exported values, groups, we can control it without any problem. And uh, we can add another one, more groups more ways to control. It's very simple. Uh, okay, and uh, now I want uh, to show you how you can create your own own plugins. Um, let's close Synfig Studio. Uh, plugins is uh, simply a, a Python scripts which uh, take a um sif synfig sif file as argument and uh, changing its content in some way uh, by default synfig studio looks uh, in two places for such scripts first place is system location uh, if you got uh, your an official synfig binary uh, uh, if you got um, synfig binary from official website, then most probably you have it installed in OPT here. Uh, synfig share synfig again plugins, and you see I have two plugins installed: simple skeleton and unhide all layers. Second place is your user location, uh, your home di directory and uh, we need to show hidden files it's uh, synfig, dot, dot synfig configuration directory uh, and uh, synfig studio looks into plugin plugins subdirectory I don't have one but I will create it right now here it is. And uh, generally uh, every plugin is a directory uh, with unique name and uh, the first word is in the directory name is used to define a group for plugin. Uh, right now this feature is not implemented but in the future in the future I would like to have all uh, 
plugins in uh, this menu grouped into different sections uh, like view, add, maybe export or something like that and uh, this group will be defined by the first word like here and uh, now we will try to create uh, our own custom plugin which uh, will hide which will hide uh, uh, all all re all region layers in our composition uh, for example let's open something if we have uh, some composition and we want to hide all region layers and uh, get some kind of wireframe view it's uh, very hard it's very hard to do this by hand so I'll write a little script mm, but first let's prepare everything for that I will use uh, on hide all layer scripts as a base and just modify it let's call it hide regions and put it into view group let's take a look what's inside of the directory and uh, we have two files plugin xml and uh, the script file itself let's name it uh, as the directory for consistency you don't force it's not required to have directory and uh, script with the same name but um, it's uh, just better for consist consistency uh, maybe you will have a more files in your plugin directory like uh, simple skeleton plugin have a template to merge to merge but uh, in our case our plugin is very simple and uh, we will uh, keep it like that okay we have uh, ah uh, yes uh, and plugin XML file is a main file describing our plugin let's type a name hide regions and put a script name here this is necessary so synfig studio will be able to find the script view hide regions right right okay it's not here yet let's restart synfig studio and uh, it's there but uh, right now it does exactly the same as on hide all airs plugin so let's uh, modify its code okay uh, the code is very simple it uh, first reads given file into memory then it opens the same file for writing and uh, those one two three four five six lines do, do necessary modifications it uh, travels the whole file line by line checks if, if it's layer line and if it's layer it sets it as visible but we need uh, an opposite thing we need to detect layers and uh, if it's a region layer uh, then we need to hide it not make it visible but make it hidden uh, but we need to know how region layers 
I describe it within C file. Let's save some. Oh, I need to create it. I guess. Yes. Let's uh, save some test file with Sif extension, so we can read it in ordinary text editor. Okay. Oh. And we have um, layer type region. Okay. We see that layer is defined by type region. Okay. If layer in line. Uh, oh, we'll do that. If uh, layer. Okay, guess we need that. Layer type region, if this substring is found, then we will set this, uh, this layer as hidden and uh, write this line into file. If uh, this string is not found, then we will write line as is. Let's try our script in action. Let's restart Synfix Studio. Well, that's not necessary because we already had script in our menu. Okay, and let's try to use it with our sample file from Nikolai Mamashev. He's traced it, this image. And let's run it. Hide regions. And voila, we have outlines only. Um, this is some kind of outline view in our case. This is very useful to editing our artwork. Uh, and uh, how we will get back to, to the default to normal view? It's very simple, just call unhide all layers. Yes. Okay. We have all layers unhidden. Well, that's everything what I wanted to show you. I hope you will find it useful. Uh, thank you for watching and listening.